Has someone ever done something for you that wasn't expected? They just blessed you with something, they just did something for you that was out of the blue, and you felt so loved and appreciated because of what they did. You know, this last week was our man camp. We had a great time, man. God moved, and you could see that a lot of guys' hearts were touched, a lot of guys' lives were changed. It was a phenomenal time. One thing about this camp is that they have a 50-person minimum in order to be able to rent the facilities, which is completely understandable. I mean, it's pretty common. And uh, this year, our numbers were a little bit on the lower side, and uh, we only had 45 guys. So when I went to pay the bill, I kind of expected, you know, to make sure to, you know, pay for 50 guys, because that's what I agreed to do when we rented the camp. So we, get, we got there, and we're about to sign the checks and stuff, and they um, handed us a bill for only 45 guys. And I was like, are you sure? I agreed to pay for 50. And they looked at us and said, don't worry about it. And uh, they completely blessed us. They, they just were being what Christ said was neighborly. And they truly were neighborly to us. You know, in the Bible, somebody tried to uh, catch Jesus or something and said, well, who's my neighbor? Trying to justify his own actions. And Jesus gave a story that has changed the world. And that story was about a man who was on a journey. And on his journey, some robbers came and beat him near to death. And a priest was walking by. And this man might have thought, maybe the priest will help me. The priest looked at him, went to the other side of the street, and kept walking. And that Jewish priest continued his journey. And then this man saw his brother, a Levite. He said, surely this Levite will come and help me, maybe. Maybe he thought that, but it didn't happen. This Levite continued on his journey as well. And then all of a sudden, a Samaritan, someone who was not his own people, came and saw this man struggle. He helped him. He cleaned his wounds. He bandaged them up. He even paid out of his own pocket to put this man up in an inn. And he also paid the innkeeper to take care of him after he left. And he said, if this man has any more expenses that are beyond what I gave you, I will come back and pay them. This man was a good Samaritan. Jesus asked this man who was trying to justify his actions and saying, who is my neighbor? Jesus looked at him and said, who was the neighbor to this man? And of course he had to answer the man who was gracious to him. You know, in life, we are often uh, go through life and we look at all these people's struggles around us. We need to ask ourselves, who am I to be a good Samaritan to? And you know, sometimes we're the ones who receive the blessing from other people. And in that, we should truly love our neighbor as ourselves. And this has been the heart of devotion.